It's fun to work with kids, except when it's not. While occasional disruptive behavior can happen, it should be rare. One response to misbehavior is the classic timeout. Unfortunately, as tempting as putting a child in timeout may be, it's been shown to have lasting negative effects on future behavior. In other words, timeouts and isolation don't work in the long run. So instead, let's look at two much better options, prevention and proper response. Prevention starts by forming positive relationships with the children in your care. Positive relationships help prevent challenging behaviors from starting. Children pattern their own actions after observing the adults in their lives. You can also help children learn self-regulation, independence, and cooperation by how you approach requests. Always consider the child's interests and include choices whenever possible. This builds respect, invites cooperation, and satisfies a child's need for power and control. For example, when it's time to clean up, give children ownership by asking whether they'd like to pick up the toys first or put books away first. Even with best prevention practices, a child will occasionally lose control and yell, throw a toy, or both. If this happens, your first priority should be to make sure everyone is safe. Then stay calm and stay close. Consider how you would want to be talked to if you had done something wrong. Don't say, I'm disappointed in you. Empathize with the feeling. When the child is ready, quietly say, let's go back and play now. When you focus on preventing misbehavior and use calming strategies to diffuse disruptive behavior, you'll have a more productive, creative, and harmonious class and happier, healthier kids, not to mention a happier, calmer you. Child Care Resources has more helpful suggestions, techniques, and courses to help you learn and practice these and other positive guidance techniques. Visit childcareresources.org or call us to learn more.